Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to learn more about hatching and finish what we started on section views. So let's go back to the example from the last lecture. Remember our imaginary saw that was used to cut the part? Let's now imagine that this saw was dipped in paint before it cut the part. Now, the areas of the part that came in touch with the saw will be painted while areas that had no material like holes will not have any paint. Now let's replace this paint with hatching lines, which are parallel lines to indicate where there is material that came in touch with the cutting section line. These lines are usually drawn at a 45 degree angle, although other angles can be used if necessary. For example, if we are cutting in an assembly, then the hatching must be different for each part to improve visibility. Changing the angle to 30, 60, or 45 degrees is often the preferred choice for many designers. So in summary, Hatching lines are used to differentiate the cut surfaces from the surrounding areas and to provide a clearer view of the object or component's internal features. This means that only areas that contain material and our imaginary saw had to cut through it will be hatched. Holes and hollow shapes will not be hatched. Before we end today's lecture about hatches and section views, there is one more thing we need to learn. Let's do that in a simple practical example. Imagine you have a part that looks like that, and you have a top view of this part on a drawing. Now you want to show its internal features in a section view. But the problem is that not all the internal features on this part lie in the same plane. So instead of drawing two section views using two different cutting planes, you can use another type of section views. In this section, lines do not have to be straight lines. They can also be stepped in which they include an offset. This is called an offset section view. This can be helpful if the important internal features that we want to show are not lying in the same plane. That's it for this lecture. In the next lecture, we are going to learn about the callout views. See you in the next lecture.